Hello, this is a quick look at the Vodafone Smart Prime 6 handset. This is a 4G Android 5 handset. At the time of review, it is running Android 5. And it's uh, nicely styled. It's got a nice 5 inch screen, 720p on the top. You've got the headphone socket on the right hand side. You've got the volume rocker and the screen lock power button. And on the bottom, you've got the standard USB port, and you do get a USB wire with it. The back is removable by unclipping the case in the bottom right and when you remove that you'll see the battery isn't removable uh, but this is where you'd put also put the SIM card and a micro SD card if you want. It does have 8 gig of onboard storage and as you see battery not removable you'll void your warranty if you do remove that. The Vodafone sticker on the back can be removed if you find that particularly offensive just leaving you with a plastic silver back. So as I mentioned earlier it's running Android 5 Lollipop and it runs it very well. There's very little in terms of Vodafone customization. They've got a few extra apps on there and they've they've put a skin on but otherwise you swipe to the left and you get to Flipboard. Very useful news app if you want to keep up with news and reviews things like that and the whole phone runs very smoothly. It's a very simple interface and if you've used Android before you'll be very familiar with it. The 1.2 gig quad core processor means games zip along really nicely. This is just a racing game, there's no lag, it switches to slow-mo very easily. And if you're playing a game that needs on-screen controls, such as a third-person shooter, the screen is 5 inch and it's a great size for this. You can see my thumbs aren't getting in the way of the action. The sound quality while you're playing games is, is pretty good, although you advise to maybe pop in some headphones for some deeper bass. In terms of cameras, you get a 2 megapixel front facing camera and an 8 megapixel rear facing camera. As you can see here, there's very little lag when you are moving around and it takes photos quickly and easily. There's plenty of options to tinker with and photo quality overall is pretty good. You can see here the nice punchy colours and while the autofocus isn't the fastest I've used, it's perfectly usable. Video quality is also very good, and overall this is a solid handset. It's 4G, it's got a quad-core processor, the latest version of Android, and a couple of decent cameras. This is a Vodafone pay-as-you-go phone in particular, so you will need to shell out for the full cost of the phone, but it's not massively expensive for a decent 4G handset. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.